Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business. Sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. Today is Thursday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. So happy. Uh, <laughs> where's the where's the spirits? That's what I'm going to say. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. I want to talk to you about, um, you know, this idea that you might this is probably why if you're having trouble getting work, this will probably this this episode will probably tell you why that is. Okay? Um could there be a million different things, of course. But I think in this this episode, today's show, I want to really dive into one of the biggest reasons, probably the number one reason that people are not getting work right now. And uh, hopefully, by the end of this video, you will be able to take these, uh, this knowledge and make the adjustments in your business to grow and, and get some new work, all right? So um, first off, before we get started, I just want to point out we've got a really cool special going on right now for VO's Journey Elite Academy. We're doing a 50% off the first month. There will be a link below that you can click on and go sign up. We do six classes a week, everything from voiceover, marketing, to voice acting, to technical work, processing your audio, to business systems, to audiobook narration, how to get audiobooks, how to narrate audiobooks, um, acting for audiobooks, all sorts of wonderful stuff, plus daily content that I put out just for uh, just for the members, as well as day, uh, we, uh, monthly challenges. I was like daily, weekly, monthly. Monthly challenges, uh, audition challenges with prizes, and all kinds of good tutorials and stuff. So check out that link below. And also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. All right. Got that out of the way. Let's dive into this topic today. Why, you know, this is probably why you're not getting work. So when I work with uh, voice actors, you know, um, I always typically do kind of a really quick audit, you know, about, you know, hey, what, uh, you know, where are you? Where are you putting your stuff out? You know, what, what, uh, what kind of reach do you have? What are you, you know, what kind of quality audio do you have? You know, like to listen to demos and samples and things and, and give reviews and feedback. But one thing I notice a lot is that a lot of voice actors are not taking the time, especially the ones who are struggling, not taking the time to study what's happening in the market. So I want you to stay with me because this is this could, I mean, I'm hoping this could possibly be a really big game changer for you today. The, the people that I see who are the most successful or, or the people I see who struggle the most are the people who, um, and it's not for lack of trying, but often they put up or put out products. Now, I like to say the word products. I want you to think of voiceovers and different styles that you offer, whether it's an authoritative tone, a conversational tone, an intimate tone, an inspirational tone, um, relaxed, relatable, funny, what, whatever tones that you offer, all right, I like to think of them as products and in specific genres. But, but what I notice is, is that people focus primarily on, you know, making sure their audio sounds good, which is very important, focus on getting up what everyone else is doing, all right, making sure that that's up and running, um, but what I see very little of is people studying the market and to see what actually is trending right now, what people are looking for. And this comes in two forms. Okay. The first form is what genres are trending at this moment? What um, specific types of um, uh categories are growing, right? That people are getting lots of work in that have some legs to, to have some room to run. You know, um, meditation right now has, has, is guided meditation has a lot of room to run affirmations, night, you know, sleep stories, you know, and, and if you follow where we were 
right? Two years ago, 2020, 2021, you know, I did an awful lot of COVID videos, right? Narrations, a lot. And the type of voice style people were looking for was, you know, a a serious, uh, somber, um, but not necessarily very hopeful, <laughs> right? Uh, because times weren't very hopeful. Then as that changed, right, people were looking because we were all exhausted. People then were looking for more hopeful things. People were tired of COVID voiceovers. So then we moved more into upbeat, right? Trying to get back um, you know, back to some sort of normalcy, right? But then as we moved on, we we're all having, you know, probably PTSD from COVID and, you know, the world is. So, you know, what happens, right? Well, things like sleep stories, calming, meditation, um, relaxing, right? Trying to figure out how to, um, you know, calm our minds from all the mess that's, that went on and is going on still, right? So you you can see that's just one trend, right? And we talk, you know, I've talked about too occasionally, not as much, but the NFT, NFTs, crypto, metaverse, you know, Web 3.0, all these different uh, places where there is growth, right, uh, online and on and, uh, and online marketing and stuff, you know, that's another place for growth and trends. And a lot of people are getting into NFTs and, you know, digital currencies, m trying to market their NFTs, trying to build business around them, as well as businesses trying to get onto you know web 3.0 metaverse trying to integrate successfully well they need voices what i'm getting at here is that you know i don't see as many people focusing on that trying to get themselves on the trend okay um so you know so you've got you've got the style of voice so the first style or the first, the, the two things I was talking The first thing, right, was what is expected right now when it comes to, like, what's trending with, you know, like I just said, NFTs, et cetera. Um, and what are people hiring you for? But the second part of that is kind of what I was just, I was talking a little bit about. I kind of got them both mixed up, so I apologize. But the second part is the style, the sounds that people are looking for today. What are they looking for from, you know, uh, like I was saying in 2020, 2021, there was real somber tones. But what are they looking for today? They're looking for a beat. Um, if you're a male voice actor, all right, uh, do you do, are you good at millennial style voiceovers? If not, are you a little bit older? Are you in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s? Okay. They're, they're looking for deep, you know, it's interesting in voiceover, I found that no matter what, right, when it comes to listening, right, there there's still some pretty, um, you know, uh, tones and styles you can hang your hat on, right? So like for men, a lot of people consistently look for deep voices and, it, you know, deep male voiceovers, right? Um, confident um, and as you get a little bit older, right, that turns them confident into wisdom, right? They want that that style. Um, if you haven't noticed, for women, there seems to always be this idea that women are supposed to be upbeat and happy. <laughs> I don't know what it, what is up with that. Um, but if you ever listen like to the radio or you hear any ads that you know a lot of women, they're always making them be you know upbeat and bubbly and happy. Um, <laughs> so, um, it's important for you to pay attention to that, right? Because if you're, if you're a female voice actor and you are going out there trying to get voiceover work and you're putting out things that are somber and, you know, are not following what a lot of people are hiring them for, is there anything wrong with that? Of course not. You can do whatever you want. To, it's your business. We know that. But what I'm trying to say is, is that a lot of people are not getting work because they're simply not paying attention to what the market is interested in. I mean, you can make the coolest products all day long, but if no one wants them, it doesn't matter. I mean, you'll like it, 
but no one else will and they're not going to pay you for it. So I think for me, that was a big realization when I transitioned from doing audiobook work, a lot of audio, you know, because I started with audiobook work, I did a lot of audiobooks. And uh, it was great training and learning. But when I, I wanted to transition and work to, to commercial work and shorter work uh, that paid better. But the style in which I had been narrating in and what I was auditioning with was not working. People were not interested in hiring that type of voice style, which was more of like a higher pitch kind of like this, where it's, it's in the upper part of my register, a little more forward in my voice. It's not as confident um, and it's not as deep, okay, as if I drop it down in my lower pitch and I add that gravitas to it that, that I can put with my throat, that changed. And what I learned, you know, after a while, after doing research, was people weren't high, I will, you know, people weren't hiring or client, a lot of clients were not hiring where I was, right? Where I was putting out my stuff, we're not hiring a lot of men with higher pitched voices. Doesn't mean they weren't, you know, and, and and character work and stuff, that's different. But in general commercial work, the, the, the parts I was trying to break into, they were not. So I had to take what I was doing and change, you know, work on my pitch, work on my delivery, work on the styles of what I was doing. So anyways, to bring this whole thing back to a close, um, I actually had to pause the video and take a call. So I'm kind of coming back in after, um, you know, I was talking about uh, people, you know, being hired with a, a specific kind of uh, voice pitch and everything. So look, I, just just to kind of sum everything back up, you know, it is paramount that you focus on finding the the trends, what is happening right now, what people are hiring for, and you add your own little twist on that, but you make sure you're offering what people are looking for, all right? And then the uniqueness that you bring is what separates you. But you've got to make sure that you're on point with what people are hiring for at this moment so that you can get voiceover work. All right, guys, thank you so much. Sorry, the phone crazy blowing up. Um, I really appreciate you watching today. Please, again, hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, make sure that you um, check out the link below for VO's Journey Elite Academy and the 50% off special. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You have a good one. Goodbye. Goodbye.